the bell icon to turn on notifications. In order to stay on top of emails, appointments, news and information that we're receiving, it's important to have a robust notification system. For example, I spend a lot of my day working away in Excel and it might be that I don't check my email for a number of hours. Now, if an urgent email has come in during that time, the fact that I haven't responded to it for four hours might cause problems. So really what I want is to be notified either when I receive important emails or every time that I receive an email so that I can stay on top of things like this. And that is where notifications and alerts come in. And alerts like the one you can see right now in the bottom right hand corner sometimes appear as banner notifications. And by default, the alert will show me who it's coming from. And if I want to, I can click in this box and send a quick reply because I can see that this banner alert is coming through from Microsoft Teams. So I'm just quickly going to reply to Adriana and say sure and send that message through. Now, aside from those banner alerts, also notice that in the taskbar on the right hand side, we have something called the notification center. And we can access that by clicking on the time and date in the bottom right hand corner. Because not only is this going to open up a preview of our calendar, it's also going to show me any notifications that I've received. And you can see in here we have the top notification from Adriana, are you there? And I can scroll through to see any alerts that have come through earlier on in the day. Now something else I can do here is if I hover my mouse over this alert, notice that I have three dots. So when I click this, it's going to open up a contextual menu which allows me to manage my notification settings. So if I simply want to turn off all notifications that are coming from Microsoft Teams, I've got the option to do that quickly just there. If I want to go a bit more in depth with how I'm handling my notifications, I can open up the notification settings. And that's basically going to jump me across to settings and into the notifications area. We can then determine what type of notification we receive. So if we just select this first option, it's just going to show that notification banner in the bottom right hand corner when a notification comes in. But if we have this one ticked as well, it's also going to show that notification in the notification center. Now, I always like to have both of these ticked because I like to see when the actual message, whatever it might be, comes through. But if I happen to be away from my desk when this banner comes up, I like to know that I can go to my notification center and review anything that I've missed. And there are various other settings that I can define in here. For example, if I want or don't want to play a sound when a notification arrives. Now, the biggest thing to note here is this breadcrumb trail at the top. It says we're in system notifications, Microsoft Teams. And this is a mistake that people often make. The settings that I'm changing here are just specific to notifications for Microsoft Teams. So if I was to turn notifications off, I'm not going to receive notifications related to Microsoft Teams, but I will receive them related to other applications. So what do I do if I want to globally turn off all notifications? Well, I can use my breadcrumb trail to go back a level because this is where we have our global settings. So if I want to stop notifications from all applications, I would turn it off just here. If I click on this, it's going to give me a drop down where I can set my global settings. This setting here is going to allow all notifications to play sounds. If I only want certain applications to play sounds, for example, maybe I only want a sound when an email comes in, I could disable all notifications and then enable sounds specifically for mail. And you can see underneath, we have a list of all of our applications. So if I scroll down and find mail and click it, I can turn on notifications for mail and I can choose if I want to play a sound or not. So in this case, I do. So just be aware of that. You can customize notifications for each individual app, but your global settings are controlled in the notifications area in system. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And 
Click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.